Hello everyone, it's Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2024. So this is going to be kind of a follow-up video of a video that I did last week on Tuesday as well. So a week ago, I think, I believe, um, in reference to brain fog and how that's going and what what that um, meant for me during the week that we've just had. And so I'm going to start with this, this hybrid book. Um, I used to call it the Kiss Book, which is Keep It Simple, but then I morphed it into, as you know, this um, memory planner at the beginning and then it also has a string here so it's a TN plus down here is attached to the actual composition notebook so that's what makes it a hybrid is that there is this elastic string in here because I did these first two weeks on this insert and most of you who have been following me know that I've done this process. So I thank you so much for being here with me. Those of you that are new, welcome. I do a variety of different kinds of videos. Uh, at the moment, mostly they're planning videos, but that's not all I have uh, in store or that I've done. Um, it's just I happen to go in these phases, these stages of my life, if you will. And I have been desiring more colorful journaling um, and more active art, uh, creative art, which is what we did yesterday. We worked on a um, altered art uh, journal, which I'm loving. I'm absolutely loving. And I hope you are too. I would love to hear in the comments if you plan on participating. And remember that also, I think Courtney at um, Little Raven Inc. does have a hashtag. And I was supposed to link a video, um, which I never did. I apologize. I will try to rectify that. It's a timing thing. It's time for me, guys. Uh, just like I haven't hearted the comments, um, and for that I am deeply apologetic. I have X amount of time, and it seems my full-time job lately is, unfortunately, medical appointments. And so I have this brief window in the morning before I go on my walk, before I leave for the day, and when I come back, I'm exhausted, literally figuratively, spiritually, mentally, emotionally wiped. I just, the, 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 the amount of energy it takes me to go through a week's worth of appointments is just crazy. So week three, which started on the 18th to the 24th was during that period of time that, because I believe I did the, the video on the 19th. And during that, that period of time when I was um, going through all of these heavy, heavy symptoms, um, I'm still continuing with that because they are increasing my very aggressive medication every week until it produces results. And without getting into what the medical condition is, because I find that's neither here nor there, we all have something. I wanted to let you know what the result of that was and where my brain was in terms of planning in particular. Um, because essentially, I really did not keep up with many of my planners at all. The books that I did keep up with are these three. 
So these, this one here is my 2024 Hobonichi Weeks, which is my medical book. And I, I can't even flip it, guys. There's so many, um, and you can see how thick it's starting to get. There is so many personal informations in here, but I love this sticker. It's like no CO2, um, which is, I find hilarious. And then in here, I just have a couple of Dollar Tree uh, notebooks. And I covered one with a sticker I thought I'd never use. These were from the Dollar Tree. And this one here is from Planner Perfect. And I record writing stories in here and I can't even flip that right now guys um as many of you might know or might not know I had um some of my animal stories uh accepted into a publication again if you're new I don't actually um talk about what I write or where I sell it or even the pseudonym that I write under for those stories because I don't want this channel about that. But in this book here, I write um, what I'm working on if I can. And it's been hard for me lately. And so as a result, I normally write mental health training aids for insurance companies. I'm on a, a medical sabbatical right now until all of my, my physical and my um, other issues are resolved. And I don't know how long that'll be, but I wasn't able to continue with that. And I had to uh, reassign my aspects of it to Michael and Sarah, who were my cohorts during um, during, I'd like the three of us were doing these um, training aids. So in these books here, they're really plain inside and it's just journaling. I love this sticker. It came out of a, uh, a box that my daughter had used to get. And I'm trying to think of what the name is and I can't, but it says never flinch, never fear, never forget. And I love this sticker. So I've been keeping up with like just point form notes because even writing sentences lately have been difficult for me. So if you're a journaler and you're going through brain fog, um, point form or stream of consciousness or uh, and stream of consciousness is where you just write and it doesn't really make any sense and it doesn't have to. Um, and, and you just write down, pour out everything, and then you sift through it when you have a clarity moment, is what I call it, and then you can get back to your journaling proper. So this book here has the point form, and then in this book here is the actual um, personal journal that I use. So I've been keeping up with that. Uh, that's usually in my bedroom, and this is a Chic Sparrow or Chic Sparrow cover. I did get the platinum box and I got a lot of goodies in that box. Um, I love it. It's very like flimsy and soft. Um, it has a pen pal. Um, oh no, that's from Write a Better Story. Do I have the pen pal stuff here? No, I don't. Um, I do have a pen pal now assigned to me but I haven't started as yet. And I, I got a hold of that individual and said, you know, until my, my brain fog, until I, basically until I adjust to this medication. And I don't know how long that'll take. Maybe it, it, it'll never go away. I don't know until the medication stops because it's not a permanent medication um, or a permanent treatment. So, and then this is my five-year home at Ichi. And again, this is extremely personal stuff. And I've been keeping up with just little um, segments per day. So those, those this week have um, been my focus. And planning, I have done my best to keep up with it here and there. Uh, I worked on the Commit 30 a little bit. I have really been more feeling art journaling and expressing myself that way, which is why I brought out that book. And 
Um, also doing projects such as the Commit 30 cover and getting the Commit 30 set up. And so that's where I've been. So I guess my point to, to why I'm explaining all of this to you is, again, if you are also struggling to maintain the planners that you have, and I have plenty. Um, oh, and the other one I keep up with is my budget planner. So I always keep up with my budget planner. Um, if you're struggling, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean that you have to give up on your planner. Um, I've had a few comments that said, you know, I'm, or I've watched a few videos that said, you know, I'm, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't simply put it away, guys, put it away, make a little sticky note, take a little sticky note and say, you're, you're experiencing this, stick it down for that week and carry on. If you're doing bullet journaling like this, uh, and you don't have time to create the week, so don't. Just say from this period to this period, write a sticky note or a couple of sticky notes and say, this is what you've done. For example, on this page here, um, I use these little hearts to just justify, you know, my gratitude that I'm alive and I'm upright, I'm vertical, I'm breathing air, I'm very grateful. And then these yellow um, lines here, which is from uh, Tombos. I indicate my walks. And folks, let me tell you, when I go on a walk, I'm slower than a freaking, I don't know, a turtle or a slug or lately it's been raining so much I've been seeing those very long worms. I mean, they're beating me, man. Like if this is a race, oh my gosh, I'm not in the race. Um, but slow and steady does win the race, right? So I keep going. I keep going. It doesn't matter. I do what I can, and then that is okay. So I have kept up with that. Now, week two, I flipped for you guys. And then we had week three, which was from the 18th to the 25th. So I'm going to flip week three for you because this is what I tend to do. And then now we're into week four and I'm just catching up because I had to go back and put some time into this book after the fact. And that happens sometimes. I don't like doing that. Uh, I'd rather be on the ball and doing that. But when you're exhausted, and, and, and all you can do, like, I couldn't even read, guys. I, you know, I had a, enough energy, if that, to make a bowl of soup and just, like, watch some videos. And I couldn't even comment on videos because I would fall asleep. And so, like, that's just the nature of the beast right now. So I drew, you know, a couple of little uh, Courtney Diaz-inspired, like, elements here um, and she's from Little Raven Inc and I lined out what I was going to do in my Commit 30 planner. I had been journaling in the pages here ideas you see um, in here as opposed to this brain dump and this is my health log which I did keep up with so I'm very grateful for that. Um, this was my weekly. I'm very grateful for that. Keep in mind though, these weeklies and these health logs, you know, where I do my mood tracker and my health log, my steps and my sleep, they don't actually tell me, I mean, I, I track my food, but they don't tell me things like the little gratitudes. You know, I've been missing those little visual images, which is why I wanted to do the altered art journal. So I could put those elements there. Uh, here I've got notes about the contest coming up. The cutoff date is this Friday, folks. I've been collecting a lot of items for that. And it, I will stop collecting items when the box is full. 
and I'm trying to... May I ask you all a question? If I don't wrap everything up pretty, you know what I'm saying? If I just put it in there, you'll get more stuff. Would you prefer it wrapped up pretty or would you just prefer me to stuff the box? If you could leave that in the comments below, I have so much to share with you guys and I can't fit it all in if I wrap up everything because paper takes a lot of space, tissue and paper and things like that. Uh, the whole box will be waterproofed because where I live, it's raining like cats and dogs. Um, but please let me know that. Here I've just put some sticky tabs where there was blank spots in planner play. Um, there are things that I ticked off that I wanted to do and other things that I never got to do. This is social media. I have done no comments at all. I haven't even hearted you guys. But know this, know this please, that I would if, if like my, my grip was a little bit better. Um, I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just trying to say the facts. This is another uh, inspired um, drawing where I was using some techniques from Courtney, um, the antlers, the ears, and whatnot. Um, they're fun to do. So here you can see my dailies. I couldn't keep up with them. I did Monday because my daughter was here. But I can't even remember, apart from what I've written down, like, so on, yeah, it was Tuesday. I filmed, I asked about brain fog. So I asked about it a week ago. And last Wednesday, I actually told you about brain fog. And then Thursday was super busy. Friday was busy, Saturday. And then I did Sunday. I did try to put that in. That was the picture I added. I showed you guys the cake and the recipe. You know, just some ideas to put down in your planner for visual effect. And then now we get on to the weekly review. And here I had to, like, go through it again and write down all of the little uh, tabs I use. The system I use, of course, is from Monique over at Maniki Plans. I will leave her link in the description box below. She has given me permission to use her system. Um, and these inserts that are cut out are from Peanuts Planner Co. I take what I need and use that, and I am so grateful, so, so grateful to Monique uh, for all of her various inspirational videos. She's very motivating. Um, and as a fellow YouTuber, knowing that she's also another one that opens up emotionally and I don't find this very frequent on YouTube and I choose to do this in terms of myself because I feel like if it even helps one person feel not alone in w what they're going through whether it be mental issues emotional issues psychological issues deep psyche issues um, physical issues um issues that separate them from society in some way, say you're homebound or, you know, you've got some phobias or issues like that. I'm certainly not a doctor, um, but I understand these things. And so I speak of them in my own relation to myself. And I, I pray that does help you all. I pray that if you're out there watching that I care about people, truly. I care about people. Um, so now you see week four is here. Now week four has already begun. Like it should have been done yesterday or over the weekend. I, could, I couldn't really get to it on the weekend. I just, I pushed myself very, very hard on Saturday or was it Friday? Yeah, I pushed myself very hard on Friday. Saturday, I struggled. Sunday, I was out of the picture. And I put up a pre-recorded video. Um, because I, I couldn't even speak 
and I do my videos in real time. They're long videos if you're new, so please grab yourself a drink. I always have just water, um, although I had planned to have a cup of coffee yesterday and decided not to risk it, so I didn't. Uh, I did print out some, some pictures from Pinterest. Now, I will have a video coming up of where you can find pictures that are public domain. And I will link the individual who has shown me where to find them. And folks, what a variety. Like, if you think Pinterest is the way to go, no, 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 no. No. She's only, th like, she's got a series of these videos. I only watched one. And of the three places she showed, there is a massive amount of public domain. What is public domain? It means that there is no copyright on the pictures at all. None. Which means that you can use them free and clear. You're not taking somebody's art. So it's great for junk journaling and selling because they're yours. So I've just put pictures in here that I, I plan on doing. Look how that cute that bunny is. So I'm just going to paste it down. I'm not going to be working in this book today. Uh, I just wanted to show you the evolution before I do. And then once I get it caught up, I'm going to flip it for you. Probably, I don't know, in a couple of days. I love Paris. Look at those colors. And then, of course, if we're not of the same denomination, guys, like I don't, I don't have a religion, okay? I don't. Uh, if this is not for you, please just bypass it, okay? I'm not here to preach anything to anybody. I, I always have said, um, I feel if people do good, act kind, you know, and don't try to hurt anybody intentionally. That's good enough for me. Um, we're going to hurt people, but that's not, that's not what we intend on doing, right? It's not. I think sometimes we hurt people because of their own inner struggles. And I, I was raised Catholic. I'm no longer of any denomination whatsoever, but I believe that there is a supreme source of the universe. And so I just simply call that source God because it's good and loving God in my mind. And that God covers everybody, everything worldwide. And so that's my take on that. And, it, and you don't, I'm not here to preach it. So I just have like the paper version to go on the back so that that, because my printer doesn't want to like pop these colors for some reason. And then the bikes keep showing up in my life. Now, my city has been converting to bicycle, um, very much so. It's like being uh, in Holland, where the cars are reduced and the bicycles are coming out. Because our city wasn't really ever meant to have the vehicles. So, they're popping up. And then I just started doing my um, drawing for the AM Thoughts the brain dump, the health, oh wait, brain dump is two pages. I have these Peanut Planner Co. printouts that I just screenshotted, enlarged, and then printed from my photos. And then I did the same weekly tracker. And then here is my goals and budget which is just a glance of what I've spent on planner stuff, essentially, uh, or things I don't want to forget that's coming through Amazon. This is Planner Play. Um, I play in a lot of different books. I should really call it Book Play because they're not all planners. Social media, I'm trying to get more pictures up on Instagram. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, these are evening thoughts, and these are important, and I've actually put 9-ish, meaning 9 p.m., that I should come to this book as part of my night routine, because I'm finding that I'm starting to write, like, at odd hours, like, just before midnight, so then it becomes the next day, technically. And then here, I want to paste some pictures, and I put that picture here, 
And then I've had another vellum. I just love that. I know it's probably for Valentine's Day, but... And then I have um, this picture to go behind it, which is also probably Valentine's Day, but I just feel the mood for pink and black and gold and white. And then this silver one indicates my dailies. And I have eight pages of dailies. And then this is the work that I did just yesterday or the night before yesterday when I was talking to my daughter out of that big um, home house book. And I wanted to document it in my planner slash hybrid book that this is when I started. So if I'm ever like wondering and I'm going to actually go and date the book so that I know. And then all of these pictures go down here and it's a cluster. So I've got, I'll be tipping them in. So there's three of them there. And then the last one I will have here. And then these will just simply be more, I've got some more book pages like this. And I really, truly hope to finish all my memories of this by the end of the week. So I will be doing a lot of writing in this. And then I will add like more um, like ribbons and tassels and whatnot. And this will be my third composition book in total. So that, that is the composition book that I have been working on. And so what I wanted to do today though is work on my Hobonichi cousin. Because I just find that with the um, everything book, I just find that I work a lot better if I'm, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, just doing it, playing along to some music and whatnot. Now this cover is beautiful. You can tell it's been loved. It is um, a hand-stitched leather tee in the tabac cover. I waited for them to, I waited so patiently for them to open up their orders again, and I did get four. Um, I had no idea what I was doing with my first one, um, and then with the other ones, I wanted various sizes. So I got this one, a B6 size, uh, Hobonichi week size, and a A6 size is what I got. Okay, so I'm not going to do any particular flips, but we are going to go for the week of the 25th to the 31st and I didn't as you can see here I didn't even do last week so that's what I meant like in in many of my planners Daphne's diary um, my Hobonichi weeks which is easy to catch up on all of them are pretty easy to catch up on uh, the one I did before I did finish it off and I did this one with you guys um, and my grandson's first birthday, my daughter came for the weekend, she actually left on the Monday here. I know what I did, so that's good, um, but we're going to be working here, and I'm going to have to, um, that was my last entry, it was the 15th, and I've just pinned them off here um, to work on those pages, but they don't need to be pretty. They don't need to be pretty at all. Some of the dailies are really like bare and some are full with a lot of tippins and stuff. But I created the everything book because this book was getting so thick already with all these tippins, you see. I love gouache. I really love gouache. But these paints actually weren't gouache. These were the um, Daniel Smith paints that my friend Tammy had given me, which I can never be grateful enough. So yeah, like this book has a lot of tip-ins, um, a lot of things that I have done to the, I don't know why that one's there, 
to the actual book and I love it and this is my yearly record so it will be kept up you know and there are some places that I've left kind of blank to put photographs of my children and my grandchildren at the end of the year once I give you guys a flip because um, my kids and my grand like my kids have expressed not to put my grandchildren in here so sometimes I'll I'll use magazine images or book pages that um, will kind of like inspire me or remind me, you know, of my grandchildren. But I understand why there was there was actually a real reason why. Um, like, see here, I could put the family picture. Anyway, so we've got to fold this book, and if you're wondering with the composition book. I should bring that back quickly and show you. Maybe people don't know this, but even though it's thick, and you can see where the TN part is in there, okay, it's quite thick. This is one month, month of March. If I want to work on the back pages, okay, if I want to work here, let's say here, all these little cut-ins are kind of everywhere. I want to make sure I don't have them. I just take the book and I fold it. And the composition book, and I know I have charms and tassels and everything, but this will actually hold down just as easily with a clip. You see, so you can fold down your composition notebook so that you have ease enough to make your lines or decorate or whatever. Now, if you want to paint in here, you've got to glue multiple pages together. And this, this paper will absorb the ink. I don't think this is, um, this particular book was made in... Oh, folks, I don't remember. But the best um, paper, I should maybe stay off that topic because I'll get to it, what the best paper is for the composition books. But this is a 100-page book. And I did, oh, the video I was meant to link was how I did that um, budgeting for thrifts or for stationary supplies for 20 US dollars. So I should write that down guys, because like I said, if I don't, sometimes I have to write my name down, honest to God. So let me just sit down and I hope you guys can hear me. I hope you have a drink. I hope my voice doesn't sound so monotone. No wonder it puts me to sleep when I'm walking. I'm gonna put link dollar grandma 20 US dollar stationary haul. And in that haul, I got a, a 200 page composition book, but I knew that would hold two months. And I got quite a few stationary bits that is essentially all you need. And that was something I was meant to link. So I'll go back, link to yesterday's video. What I find, and maybe you guys can help me here if you know, um, what I have to hashtag everything individually. And I've tried doing it in the notes section of my iPhone and then copy and paste. And for some reason, it won't let me do that. Is anybody familiar with a different method? Um, because I do it all on my phone. Now, I, I know I should be doing it on my laptop I did bring down my netbook my laptop I'm trying not to do that with because it's my work laptop and I don't want to bring um, any apps into that that might corrupt that that laptop it's it's extremely uh, old by computer standards but the older ones like they hold up and the recent um, one that I purchased that was practically new that I gave my daughter has already crapped out. The minute the year warranty came up on that, within two weeks, the whole thing crapped out. And that's what I mean. 
I almost feel like the minute if you don't get the extended warranty, there's like something within the computer that knows that and just kills it. So like, anyways, <laughs> that's my rant. Okay. So yeah, this book can be folded. These composition books can be folded. Um, and like I said, this is duct tape. It's cheap. All of this material was cheap. You know, um, these books are cheap to make. I have videos on these on my channel. And I I have like the charms. I have a collection of these. Um, and I just, I want to see them now. So instead of having them in a box that I can't see, I just attach them now to the book because it makes me happy. And that's all I need. Okay, so now we have to fold down. Did I take that? Yeah, I did. Um, I'm using actually two of these clips to hold my camera like flush. For some reason, my holder doesn't want to hold my phone flush. So anyway, I got that one. So I need to fold this book. And it has the cover on it, and I think I have to remove the cover. And the cover here, I've just decorated the back with sticker backing and the stickers that came from it. So that's how it looks. And then that's how, the, I don't know if you guys are seeing this or not. So I'm kind of into the cutesy this year and the beautiful. And as opposed to, but I want it practical as well, but I really wanted like the cutesy. And so when I'm doing my dailies, I haven't been using my icon stickers or anything like that. Like I said, it's unfortunate and I want to, but I just need to, I need to do that. Also to the end of, um, on the, this is the, I don't know, some people call it the index. This goes to June. And then the next page goes to July. I just write down, um, and I know most of you know this, I use the calendar. So we're on a new scripture day. And I write down what the scripture is in the box here. And then at the top of the month, I put a couple of small little goals and what, what I'm looking forward to or what I'm aiming towards or striving towards. And it's it seems to be working better than it has in other years. Okay. Okay, Mel. Let's find the weeklies. And I've got to make sure I skip that one. There we go. Because I'll go back to that. And I want to fold this book so she's semi-flat. That's still a little... Thick. Still a little thick. Like I said, there's like so many tip-ins in this book. I think that's it there. Yeah, I think that's as good as she's going to get. So, I, I have a kit. And these are beautiful. Aren't those beautiful? It's Easter this week, guys. Can you believe it? That we have St. Patty's Day and Easter in the same month. Like, look at that. I've been searching for raccoon stickers like crazy, and I can't find any. So I think I'm going to go into the public domain and insert sticker paper and, and print those out because that's... Uh, what I need to do. I also have the Sakura or Chinese Cherry Blossoms kit. These are from Busy Bee Planners. I love her kits. Not only are they beautiful, but she is a Canadian uh, artist, and that means I don't have to pay import tax. Look at these Blossoms of Japan. Look at how beautiful this lady is. Oh my goodness. And this tree and my youngest daughter is actually 
in three weeks, she'll be going to Japan. So that is sort of why I got this kit. And I was going to wait. Um, but I think there'll be enough leftovers that I can use it for when she goes. So, I don't know if I even... See, I never do that. I never pull out washi or anything like that. But I know I have some. Like I have some really cute stuff. That one there would be really cute. But there doesn't seem to be a whole lot on these. You know how thin they are. So I broke down and I, I bought some kawaii washi tape off of Amazon. And I'll show you the box just in case you miss that. I've got this table beside me here and I, I've been piling like everything on it. Right now I'm charging my my um my apple watch so all of these i still haven't um used yet i'm just wondering if there's one with the cherry blossoms on it and i can't see any that's more suitable but look how cute so I might do some like transfers with the masking tape for these. And like this, this whole box is just so sweet. Like so, there's a part of me that doesn't even want to destroy it. Like look how cute. Like the Japanese kawaii stuff is just gorgeous. So I'll put those there. And I think, where was that one? I think that's the one I want to use. And I usually leave it in these rings when I do it, but I'm not. And I like to have two, but I need like a light pink. So here's the dilemma. So that one covers all of those colors. So let's go back in the box. There's got to be like a pink or a green thinner one. That one can work. Sorry about the crinkle. That's cherries. Okay, the other one is this choice here. Oh, that's the winner. For sure. For sure, for sure. I heard you guys. I know what you were saying. <laughs> How is everybody doing? How are you doing? I'm a week older today, guys, you know? A week older. So I'm just going to use two washi tapes, I think. I might... Oh my gosh. Look at that bee. i got to pull that one out too. Because I've been seeing big old bumblebees. All the blossoms of the trees have been coming out. It's been beautiful. It's been well worth the rain. Okay. So I'm going to do what I normally do. And what I normally do is put washi tape here on the bottom. You see? Like that. And I just have that style going on for me that I... So if I do... Yeah. If I don't finish my sentences, guys, and you're new here, I am very, 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 very sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, I, I, I try to stay focused and I often lose focus and forget my sentences. Um, please be kind with me. I am aware of this issue medically and I do absolutely like it'll occur to me in my brain a little bit after the fact and I'll come back to it. Um, or Sometimes I'll forget about it completely. If you have any questions about what I was going to say, please ask uh, kindly in the description box. I really strive to have a positive um, environment here just so that everybody and everybody is encouraged to feel safe and not attacked or... Um, 
you know, like that they can be free with their words. I mean, it is really the reason why I served my country, guys, is so that everybody had the right to say what they wanted to say. And as long as it's said in kindness from a place of love, I don't see any problem with it. Um, where I see a problem with it is when it's like really like um, written in such a way that's accusatory or judgmental. And I strive very hard to break stigma because people are all on different levels. Um, we're all on different learning levels. We, we're not all the same, guys. And we cannot expect other people to behave or act or be as we're going to be, want them to be. Um, however, that being said, um, I, I definitely don't want you know, just because you're at a different level doesn't give you permission to be, um, I don't know, unkind or rude. I don't see too many of that. And I am very, very grateful and blessed that that doesn't occur on my channel. I do have a little pop-up, I believe, that comes up when you watch my channel saying that, um, because I cannot think of a worse thing than coming to a channel leaving a comment for somebody to view, to interact with other planners or crafters or, you know, artists or, and then being attacked. And then you're silent after that. And I believe everybody has a voice and everybody should be heard. And it doesn't make us right to be heard, but we all have a right to be heard. And, and, you know, like I was saying, you know, not too long ago, I had a, a neighbor who, in the middle of the night, because I was up, uh, just wanted to talk to somebody. And it was like two in the morning. And I really, like, should have gotten some sleep. But he, I could tell, he just, he needed, he needed somebody. And I just felt, what is it to me? One, one conversation with this, with this, he was a young man, 23 years old. And, you know, what is it to me? You know, uh, maybe I'll learn something. And that's kind of where I go with that, is that if you do things from the heart, then I don't know. I I just think one one small act of kindness can change the world. You know what I'm saying? It, it it and and sometimes we need another perspective, another point of view. So if you're feeling lonely and you have nobody to talk to, um, this is why I say, folks, I have an Instagram over at Everything Marmy, and I've had a number of individuals come to me there. And as long as what, what they're sharing with me is um, recognized to be something that I cannot fix. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I'm nothing like that. In fact, I, I get therapy for myself, for my various issues in my own backpack, um, especially having served my country as long as I did and the things that I've seen and heard um, and other things. Um, but, but you're not alone. You're never alone. I, I never want somebody to feel like they have absolutely nobody. And I live in Canada, so I know Canadian resources quite well because of the mental health um, aspect of what I used to do, right? And still, like, I still feel like I do it. This washi tape is not cooperating. Sorry, guys, let me just focus on one thing here for a minute. Multitasking is a very hard thing for me. I don't understand what the issue is here. You guys ever do this? Play with your washi tape and your 
you're determined you're going to use it. I'm determined. <laughs> I'm stubborn. <laughs> I'm going to use this washi tape. There it is, right there. So yeah, I was saying, you know, I live I live in Canada. I don't live anywhere else, but um you know, a lot of the countries tend to have the same sort of um resources. And but even before those resources, sometimes it's just nice to be heard. So people can't help hearing, right? They can't. You've got ears, you can't help hearing unless you have a hearing impairment. But true listening is an art form. True listening is, is when you don't have a comment to say while somebody's talking, that you're not ready to jump in and add your two cents before the individual has their say of whatever's going on with them. And I find that extremely... Um, I find that extremely important nowadays, especially nowadays, because there's, there's so much going on in the world that we're all half crazy with it. Um, and then, you know, you've got responsibilities in the home, you've got, you know, bills to pay, food to put on the table, children to raise, or, you know, um, like this young man, I mean, he, he's like trying to navigate the world and he's, he's, um, I can't share his information. Obviously that was said in confidence. And by the way, everything told to me is said in confidence. Um, however, I will, I will stress this. Please do not, please do not come to me if you are depressed to the point of, um, really needing help. And by that, I mean suicidal ideation, because if you have that, guys, please go check into your local hospitals. Um, that is, that is absolutely a medical condition to which I have no experience or training. I mean, I shouldn't say I, I don't have any experience. I do have experience, but I don't have any official training. I am not capable in my um, abilities to do anything about that. And I actually can't even deal with that. It's sort of one of my triggers um, because of years and years and years of training of that. So please keep that in mind, but I can listen and I do. Um, so you're not alone. Anyway, on enough about that, guys. It, that that's over at Instagram. Um, I do check that fairly frequently, as opposed to my other channel, which is on my other phone. For some reason, I can't link my two Instagrams. I've tried at one point; they were linked, and then they unlinked. I don't. I don't know what happened. And so, you know, I have conversations with with friends from the Reborn Doll community, which I'm a part, and. Um, after a certain time period, for whatever reason, um, the voice messages cease being accessible. So, <clears throat> so that's washy. That's all I've done so far, guys, is washy. And we're at 55 minutes. I never thought I could speak for 55 minutes. But um, I do want to get some, some very cute decorations down. Somebody suggested I color code my appointments, and I don't do that um, for the same doctors. I, 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 I appreciate the suggestion. I, 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 I don't do that because I may not have the same colors everywhere, and I, um, I'm not really a color coding kind of gal, if you know what I mean. Um, I, lo I like to make my weeks a little different and, you know, I know it's, it's great for the eye. In Canada, we color code absolutely everything. Our money is color coded. Um, everything, you name it, it's color coded. So, um, I just, yeah, I don't want to do that. Now, some of these I'm going to leave for the back 
journaling pages. And some of them I'm going to leave for when my daughter goes on trip. So the only thing I really want to do is lay down some boxes. But first, see, and there's some beautiful washi here, but I want to save that as well um, for the other spreads. Look at this. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Like that. Spring bundle. I think I got two different ones here. Blossoms of Japan and spring bundle. Spring bundle, spring bundle, spring bundle. So I might put those somewhere else. I don't have any weekdays that I pulled out, which is good because it'll save us time. Here's some functional boxes. Oh, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, let me move this one out of the way so I don't confuse it. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. And, um... Where is my tweezies? There they are. Now, the numbers I'm just going to have to write in because I'm not going to be... I could go to the book and get the numbers, but... Oh, good. I'm glad these ones leave the moon cycle. I don't know. Lately, I've just been fascinated. Did you guys see that big red moon? Uh, the eclipse of the moon? Um, there was live footage on it, and it was just, like, I was caught up in watching it. It was just phenomenal. Yeah, so, like, last week, I remember I was in such a fog that even though I said it was Tuesday, I thought it was Wednesday. And, like, from there, it just felt like the whole week kind of went, like, crazy on me. And being exhausted all the time, you know, it's something I can't help. And just when I think I can sleep, for example, I can't. So, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, when your body is trying to heal from something, guys, you just want to sleep. But unfortunately for me... I am very vigilant. I'm a vigilant individual, and um, I tend to be up in the evening, late at night. So, like, it's best for me to sleep when I'm tired. And according to my iPhone uh, watch, or my Apple watch, um, now I have to tie those in down here. Somewhere. Let's see if we can put because this is beautiful. Just want to tie in everything. I've got Easter going on. This one here needs a bit of tape. So what do you guys do when I plan? Do you do you plan along. Uh, I think I've asked this question a few times, but I'm always curious, like, what the day holds for you all. Like, you know, I do have to put the functional boxes down. So, it looks like they're all the same color. So, today I have three appointments, but I'm only going to mark down two. That's all I'm going to do. Because I only have so many boxes anyway. And sometimes if I just think of it as two, <laughs> it it makes the day better. Does that make sense? Like I, I don't, I don't want to uh, look at this, like my, my calendar on the wall, the one in between, like I have two. So my, I have one that I'll show you guys. And then I have like the real one. And when I look at that one, I'm like, oh my God, like, 
I get so overwhelmed, guys. I just like almost go into panic mode that I, I can't do it. It's so much, it's so much, it takes so much energy to get out the door. And then there's breaks between one appointment and the next. And what do I do in those breaks? You know, do I just park my vehicle and like sleep somewhere? Like, so yeah, it's, uh, and Friday at, 1030 I'm picking up my daughter she's coming back for the weekend so I'm just gonna put that here or Saturday I mean she's coming and then Sunday there's a big celebration at my daughter's so I'm gonna use this green one I don't want to I know it's later but I'm gonna put it up here because I want to put some of these lovely boxes down and my daughter's place is very cozy she's made it very comfortable for me when I go over there like they spoil me when I go over there I don't have to lift a finger I don't have to cook a meal I insist on bringing something, and she knows I do, so she's like, well, just bring a fruit pie, Mom. That would be awesome. My kids are super good to me. When I was in hospital, <laughs> they, like, I was unconscious for three days, and then when I came to, they kept bringing me food, and I ate it because in, in, in how I was, like, brought up with the Italian background, food is love, food is family. So, like, I, I literally gained 10 pounds while I was in the hospital. It was funny. But then it, it fell off kind of, like, within a week after. What am I looking at here? Oh, that's a teapot. Um, maybe I'll put that here. And because my morning routine goes up there and then the weather goes in here. Um, what is the date? I'm not even going to worry about. So this was the 25th. 26th. I should have used my calligraphy. 27th. 28th. 29th. 30th. And 31st. Isn't that a beautiful thing? It finishes. <gasps> so I do need a couple of tracker boxes. I have to track my vitamins, you guys. Like, um, I'm going to put the... Hmm. a little list here things that I should do and then another tracker box I hope my voice isn't too quiet today you guys I just feel like I'm sleep talking <laughs> and I apologize very much for that put weekend right up here so I don't really care about the morning routine so much on the weekend. And I do want like something absolutely bold and beautiful and bright and green and like just poof. Like I love the green elements. Green and pink to me is like the most beautiful thing. I think I'm going to put this one here. So I, I had a lot of things going on. I'm going to trim this down though. I'm going to use that green somewhere. I just love it. I'm not going to waste it. I, 
I really hope you guys will have a beautiful day today, truly. Um, let's put that in the middle here. Oops. Now that was a big boo-boo. And that one, I think, is going to be a hard one because it's on a sticker. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Okay, let's get this one down. I do not proclaim to be great at this, you guys. No, I don't like that one there. So up here I need little little flowers, little bits of this and that to complete it basically. This kit just has everything. It's quite a large kit. I think I'm gonna cut that one in half. There, put that there. I love this little lantern. Is that a lantern or is that a, did I use that? No, where am I gonna put you? You're beautiful. Um, right there. Now, where is it bare? It's kind of bare in there. Need some flowers. And check boxes. I do need check boxes. And because I have that there, I don't really need that there. All of these are pretty good, and the only other thing is I really want these books down. So where am I going to put those? Right here. This is bare. Um, also, payday. Payday comes into play. One of them, anyway. One of them. And, oh, I didn't put a girl. She's beautiful. Okay. She can go there. And I need, like, another flower there. And something here. I wish I had more green. I do have more green, but it would be plain. I think it would be okay if I left it like that. Well, I do have a few more of these little stickers. Uh -uh, what do I do with it? There it is. There it is, hiding. I'll put you here. I have one more of these little stickers. And there's a lot there. But this one up here seems bare. It seems like it needs something. So I think I'm going to take this sticker from here. I'm going to put these here. This kimono. Put here. Because it's kind of fitting, right? Put that one there. Put 
And that one there. What do you think, guys? Let's take a look in the camera. Hopefully you guys have been seeing the whole thing. What are we at? An hour? I think we're at, I can't tell. An hour and 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna quickly write in my appointments. And that will be that. And, oh, look at this. Miss those completely. Oh, well, we'll use those for the next ones. We will use those for the next ones. Okay. So, this here is vitamins. And this is water. I don't track my walks anymore because I do it at the beginning. You guys all see <clears throat> in my, like, monthly book or my hybrid book. So... These appointments that I have laid out here are my regular weekly appointments. These four don't ever change. Uh, and nothing I allow them to change. Like, they just don't change. Um, I see a therapist three times a week at my choosing. A psychoanalysis. I've been there almost 11 years. And um, it's done wonders for me absolutely has transformed me uh when i first went in there i remember telling her because i was in the military at the time i said look i have 10 sessions so fix me and send me back and she kind of laughed and i didn't understand why uh 11 years later i'm still there but to be a psychoanalysis you have to do 10 years of a certain amount of hours and i've already reached those hours and She's kind of suggesting that I might want to go that route, but I don't believe that's the route for me. So on 10.30 p.m., I'm picking up my daughter. And then here on Sunday, we have Easter with family. And this is just the bomb.com, guys. Oh, my God. How fortunate I got to see them all at Atlas's birthday. Just, uh, you know, it exhausts me absolutely, but it is so worth it. And this is um, priorities of the week. And so that is it. The weather will go in here. And then my AM routine, my walks, all this little extra stuff. And that, my dear and loving family and friends of you too, that is my Hobonichi cousin, the week. I will put the cover back on. And I thank you from my heart for tuning in yet again, for putting up with my not getting to the, the comments Although I am there, I am there. Like I, I just, I. It's an energy thing, guys, and and it's like trying to find time. And I, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. It takes me lately three times as long to do anything as I used to. So I apologize from the depths of my heart. Um, I should stop making excuses, however. So that's how this week has looked like at the offset. And these are like weeks in the past. So they do get filled in. And I thank you for joining me. Remember folks, we are perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. If you ever feel like you need somebody, anybody, and you're feeling that you just want to be heard. I'm here, guys. I'm here. And I know many other people are here in the community. And in the commentary section, guys, if you can all be kind, if somebody says something, maybe you can put a like beside their comments. 
or, you know, even say to them, I, I hear you, you know, sometimes that's all it takes. Um, I, I really, really do with all my heart think that we can help each other. And by helping each other, we build a community that is beautiful and bright and loving. And that is how it should be. And that's why my channel is a positive uh, mental attitude channel. Uh, we can have problems and that is perfectly okay, but we should not have to be subjected to any criticism along the way. So until next time, folks, I will definitely speak with you later. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Find something, I hope, to smile about. Enjoy the minuscule little wonders of the world. And please, please, most of all, I pray that you and your families are safe. Until next time, folks. Bye for now.